my three little half tapes here. Then I go to my hand. Okay, and now I go on to my thumb. Did you pitch it? I did. Yes, pinch. there's a pinch there, yeah. <laughs> so, what I like to look for is this V here that I've created. And again, we're protecting this joint right here, the MCP joint. So I'm starting at this V, going to this joint here. We're going around the thumb, and again, we're pinching. I pinch almost all the way up, so it's like half the length. Back to this joint, and we're creating an X across it. We're going under the hand and back to where we started. And we're gonna do that twice, so that's the first one. Now we're moving up to the smaller V here, so we're a little higher on the hand. Up, around the thumb. Pinching underneath this time. Pinching. At the crease, right? Creating that X over the joint, down and around. Now, if it was a basketball player who jammed his thumb, I would only do that. But if it's a football player and we really wanna make a glove out of this, um, we're gonna then create a half strip. So here, again, we're going crossing that joint and just cutting it on the palm side. So starting on the dorsal, the top of the hand and going to the palm side. Just two. So now that's, that's really protected there. Now this is what I meant when I said wrist, hand, thumb, hand, wrist. So now I've done with, done with my thumb. It's nice and protected, um, but I have all of these loose ends here that we need to clean up. How we clean that up is now by doing another hand strip. So here, I'm coming back up through the hand, covering all of those, again, still pinching, covering all my loose ends and coming back here. And then I finish with my continuous over the wrist. And there is his glove. <laughs> it's also called 